Hello everyone, welcome back to another do's and don'ts video. In this video, I'll be showing you how I draw a nose. Not only will I be showing you the front facing view, but also the three quarter view and the profile view. This was a highly requested video and a lot of you guys have commented on my previous video so I figured I would give it a shot and do a do's and don'ts for you. If you're new to my channel then welcome welcome, thank you for watching this video and also don't forget to subscribe for more art tutorials, product reviews and just general art videos. Also do follow my social media, Instagram, Facebook and I'm also now on Patreon. On Patreon you can find the real time videos of my nose drawing process alongside other videos. I am slowly building up the content there so please be patient but I'm hoping to do a lot of more tutorial stuff on my Patreon. So now let's get to the actual tutorial part of this video starting with the don'ts of drawing a nose. I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out what was the best way to basically illustrate this and the reason why is because there are so many different nose shapes and sizes out there that there's really no correct way of showing you how to properly draw a, a, a good nose. Sure there are proportions to follow and there are the kind of stereotypical nose shapes and sizes that you can draw. Um, but for the most part, I think it's just easier to just break it down with shapes and I'll show you my own technique on how I do this. In this case of the don'ts that I'm drawing right now, I just wanted to illustrate that there's more to drawing a nose than just basic lines and two nostrils. So let me explain a little bit more with the do section. When it comes to drawing a nose, I found that the easiest way of doing it is to start off with a super rough outline of the general shape of the nose. And what I'll do is sort of like an oval shape, as you can see, I will maybe add a couple or like a bit of angle to this oval shape where the nostrils or the outside of the nostrils will be. And from there, I basically use this shape as a general guide of where to place the nostrils alongside the outer nostrils, I guess they're called. I actually don't really know <laughs> the terminology of a nose, um, but that's, that's more or less how I began. Afterwards, you can actually get super fancy with the shadows and the shadows will actually help accentuate the different curves and the sort of planes of the nose. And this is where you can really shape the nose and also give it a lot more depth. What I really like about this technique is the fact that you can really mold the shape of the nose with the initial oval that you draw. You can draw it as wide as you want, as narrow as you want, as tall as you want, and this will basically help you create different types of noses. Now let's see this in action with different views. Starting with the front view, you can just basically practice endlessly with this sort of oval technique and you can see here I'm drawing different types of noses, different shapes, some are fatter, some are more narrow. I'm also extending the oval much higher to kind of do like a water drop shape and this will just create a whole different look for your nose. Also, on a side note, I do apologize if my hair does creep into shot. I did not realize this was the case when I was filming. <laughs> so please try to ignore that. <laughs> when drawing noses, I also do like to practice the sort of ratio between the nose and the eyes. So oftentimes in my sketchbook, you're probably going to see um, sort of this eye-nose combination, which I do really enjoy drawing. And it actually just helps for future use in terms of getting the proportions right between the nose and the eye. For the three quarter view, this is my favorite type of nose to draw. It just has much more characteristic for me and I really like the fact that you can really play up the angle of the nose. So in this case with the oval shape, I do change it up a lot compared to the front facing view. I tend to actually just do kind of a more triangular kind of oval shape if that makes any sense. <laughs> But I do play up the angle a lot and I will use the angle 
to do the tip of the nose. So here is actually really fun. You could play with the different sizes and um, make it sharper, make it rounder, make it a cute button nose. And again, these noses here are pretty female looking. So I would assume the male sort of nose, which I'm still trying to figure out by the way, is going to be much, maybe much um, larger, much sharper, uh, like much more angular. Um, I'm probably gonna do a whole different video about this um, in terms of like male features. But for now, these, these eyes, or these eyes, these noses are pretty feminine looking, I would say. For the profile view, these are still a work in progress. I'm still trying to figure out my style or the way that I draw profile viewed noses. Um, with this, I do still stick to the oval, the sort of oval shape technique that I use, but I do play up the front of the nose um, on an angle, like it's much more angular than maybe the three quarter view or the front facing view. Um, so in this case, I'm still trying to figure it out, but as you can see, it does work quite well with the general oval technique as well. Um, so I think the trick here is to really play up the, the sort of angle from where the nose tip is to um, where it runs underneath the sort of nostril. But again, it's just a matter of practice to get the sort of angle right and the more you draw these little noses, the better you will become. I hope this video helped you and um, gave you some insight on how I draw noses with all the different view types. Of course, there are different angles and these are much more advanced and these are things I'm still trying to figure out. But nonetheless, this is sort of the technique that I have been following over the recent months. I really do like it and I hope you guys will like it also. Um, just please note that this, this technique is not for like really super advanced, like realistic noses. This is not my style and this is nothing that I will probably show in the future. Um, this is much more on a cartoon uh, sort of uh, style and I really do like this style. Um, so if you, if you like this style too, give it a big thumbs up. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help me and I am very grateful for it. Comment down below what other tutorials would you like to see from me and I will try my best to make them for you. That being said, I do have an upcoming live stream this Saturday. Don't miss out. I will be just casually sketching away in my sketchbook. You guys have voted upon the sketchbook slam challenge and believe it or not, I have actually been working on it in my spare time and sort of haven't really announced it yet, um, but I will be progressing in my little sketchbook um, throughout this, this live stream on, on Saturday. So thanks again for watching. Um, I wish you guys all a fantastic day. Keep drawing, never give up, and keep being awesome. We will see each other very soon. Bye!